Hi, I'm Dr. Brent Larson. Welcome to the video. I want to talk about manganese deficiency. In particular, I'll go over seven symptoms um, of manganese deficiency. Now, this is not magnesium. This is manganese. This is probably one of my favorite minerals because I use it so commonly. So, number one on the list is pituitary problems. Pituitary gland is your master control gland. It sits right here between the eyes. It controls everything. It controls your thyroid your adrenal glands, your ovaries or testes. It has factors with the stomach and the kidneys. It tells the body what to do because it's your master controller, that in the hypothalamus, which is nerve tissue slash the gland. So pituitary glands, so you're going to see this come up as we go through this with at least five more um, of the symptoms are based off of the pituitary not having what it needs. And the pituitary gland loves manganese. So there's different organs are attracted to different minerals. Um, the adrenals, copper, okay, the thyroid, iodine, pituitary, think manganese. Really, really important for it. So two, skeletal abnormalities, growth. Obviously the bones need minerals like calcium, manganese is important as well. Number uh, three, depressed reproductive function. So again, think here. Pituitary gland is not signaling what it's supposed to do, so what are you going to have? The ovaries aren't going to work, the testes aren't going to work, other factors like thyroid and, and, and adrenals that help with this reproductive function aren't going to work. So the pituitary gland is vital, therefore manganese is vital. Number four, impaired growth. Growth hormone comes from the pituitary gland. You don't have uh, manganese, you're not going to have very much growth hormone or it's not going to work how it's supposed to. Now there's another reason why the pituitary gland doesn't want to work. It's a little sidetrack here, but it's cranial problems. I'm a cranial chiropractor. I work on the bones of the skull. There's 22 bones there, 22 main bones, and they all have to move. And that pituitary gland can get squeezed inside of its little, it's called a cell tersica. It can get squeezed and, and real tense in there. I have a couple of uh, patients right now where I'm working with them on that. So I'm supporting their pituitary gland, manganese is one of the components, but I'm working on their cranial system as well. Number five, stomach problems. This one um, gets missed by a lot of people. I have a, a girl right now, we're working on this with their stomach problems because of the pituitary gland not controlling it right. So these types of people will get diagnosed with food allergies and all kinds of things, and you may have to get them off the food for a period of time but it's not the real problem, okay? Food allergies or, or, or sensitivities could be infection in the gut, it could be liver not working right, gallbladder clogged up right, but it could be the stomach isn't working, and the stomach not getting the right control from the pituitary gland, okay? So keep that in mind. Number six, ligament tendon problems. This is one of the fan favorites. Um, ligaments and tendons need manganese. Very, very critical. So manganese, pituitary, ligament tendon. I use a lot of um, certain manganese products for you know tendon issues, um, you know, ankle sprain, Achilles tendonitis, whatever it might be. Um, I use a lot of the manganese with them. And number seven, one that seems to always go unnoticed as well, is menstrual headaches. So a menstrual headache could also be a manganese deficiency. And if you think about it, Again, the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is not signaling how it's supposed to. It's under stress. You have hormones happening and changing during that time of the month for women, and it's putting more strain on that pituitary gland. A lot of times they get headaches right through here. So headaches behind the eyes is pituitary. So this video kind of turned into half pituitary, you know, half manganese, but it goes hand in hand. DrLarson.com is my website. Uh, check out the other videos on YouTube, and I'll see you again soon.